Hey tennis players, Coach Jeff here. Um, I wanted to give you a quick tip on your tennis forehand to improve it. Um, maybe this is something that you think is a positive that's not a positive. It, I find these days it's actually touted as a positive when it's actually not. Um, I was hitting with a young man the other day who I'm trying to get into the sport of tennis, and I noticed something I noticed a lot in junior development, and I wanted to get it off my chest, um, what it is and why you should, in my opinion, not be trying to do this thing because having been in player development for a while, I noticed it's something that doesn't need to be taught, like, like a few other things in tennis actually that happen naturally that are um, kind of touted as being positives, but I don't think are positives. But basically it's the what's referred to as the next-gen forehand right now. Is something that I've seen done. I see, I see happen with junior players all the time, just naturally. And I try to get them to do less of it as as, as much as I can. And that's this inverted racket face. So now, um, Christopher's brand new to the sport of tennis. He certainly isn't watching pro tennis at home. And you can see how he really inverts that racket face when he takes it back. And again, this is just something that happens naturally. And yeah, it gives you momentum. It can give you looseness and some more pace. But the problem is. In tennis, you're very, you're very seldom creating your own pace in tennis, um, and you just, uh, and it's just something that takes a lot of time. It takes extra time, which you don't have. And a, a player like Christopher, who's uh, has a lot of interest in tennis and might be playing high-level tennis someday, we want to make sure something like that's cleaned up. So the inverted next-gen racket face is not a positive, in my opinion. Um, I call it the, I made a video not too long ago, I'll put a link in the description about the unit turn, I call it the, there's all kinds of ways to take your racket back, um, this one you could call, you've probably heard to his next gen, I call it the ninja forehand, um, in my opinion it feels stylish, and erotic-esque, it makes you feel like a ninja, but anyways, um, but I think one thing, one point to make is that every pro player, if you look at their career, um, that had a, a seriously inverted racket face at the beginning of their career, it ended up getting a lot shorter. So here you see theme in just a couple years, really doing a lot less inverted racket face, I'm sure realizing, hey, I just don't have time to do this anymore. There's some drills you can do to fix it. You want to, uh, you can have someone just hit balls at you really hard. You'll notice that you just don't have time for that extra motion in there. Um, Here's a good example. Now, it's not to say you're not going to have some of it. Here we can see a little inverted racket face on Roger Federer. It's not. It's it's natural. You want to be loose. You want to you want to have some things happen that um, that might lag the racket head back as you take it back. But you just don't want it to be that inverted because you just don't have time. So we, we ended up fixing it for Christopher, um, and we hope you fix it on your own forehand. And I appreciate you watching the video. And please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And don't next gen the forehand. happens naturally and it's not a good thing but um, you just got a lot of extra motion when you take your racket back remember you just want a short unit turn you don't want to have your racket have to do all that okay so ready position turn yeah about right there and then just keep it simple okay now do it the wrong way where you kind of do this show me the wrong way yeah don't do all that just keep it simple because when you're playing high level tennis you won't have time for that anyway it's like boom 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 I mean you want to have short efficient strokes all right let's get the balls up do it again come on